A major modding website has taken a stance against anti-LGBTQ plus content. The studio behind Just Cause reveals details on a canceled Iron Man game. And former Nintendo of America president admits Nintendo was working on a cross-platform controller. All this and more right now on today's Daily Fix. A major gaming modding website has taken a public stance against anti-LGBTQ plus content after a PC mod aimed at removing pride flags in the game was reported by users. Nexus Mods, which runs a website that allows users to share custom mods for PC games, has both removed and banned an account that uploaded anti-LGBTQ plus content in which a Spider-Man mod would swap out the rainbow pride flag for the American flag. Nexus Mods called the user a, quote, coward, issuing this statement as a response. We don't want to and won't argue this with you. We've now explained our stance and we won't be providing a platform for you to distort our position in order to feed an irrational and paranoid narrative. You can do that elsewhere where we won't care enough to read it. If this policy upsets you, if we've broken some moral code of conduct as a business that you can't accept, then please delete your account and move on, as we will. ModDB, another mod center website, followed suit and also removed the same Spider-Man mod and banned the users involved, upholding their community as an inclusive environment for all that does not permit targeting marginalized groups. Moving on, the team behind the Just Cause series was apparently working on an Iron Man game for years before Marvel and Disney scratched the whole project. In an interview with YouTuber Min Max, Avalanche Studios co-founder Christopher Sundberg confirmed the game was in development for years before it was ultimately cancelled around 2012. Sundberg says it would have been an open world game where players could take off and fly just about anywhere with the ability to punch enemies through walls. So instead of this, fans got a somewhat lackluster game adaptation for Iron Man. But look on the bright side, Marvel games have come a long way, and with the first Disney Marvel game showcase happening next month, we should expect some sweet news. And lastly, the former Nintendo of America president says Nintendo was working on an adaptive controller compatible with other consoles. In an interview with Inverse, Reggie fils says Nintendo was part of an initiative to create a platform agnostic controller that could be used on PlayStation and Xbox three years ago. Using Xbox's adaptive controller as a starting point, fils explained the controller would allow users to play the latest games on Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo consoles. Since retiring back in 2019, fils isn't sure if the project is still underway, but hopes that it still is. He believes a platform agnostic controller tailored to specific physical capabilities would be good for the gaming industry. Nintendo has begun to take steps towards an integrated future by making Switch's Joy-Cons compatible with Steam. And if you didn't know that, now you do. And that is your Daily Fix for today, August 18th. Follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat, download IGN on all the apps, and for everything else, just stick to IGN. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.